Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. It is great to see everyone again and it is even more fun when, before starting today, it's extremely interesting content. I can receive everyone's likes and subscriptions to the channel. Do you think there has been a fallout between Prince William and Harry or is it the press blowing things out of proportion? I believe my eyes. When it came to the Sussexes, the Cambridges could not have been more angered and disgusted than they already were. During the Commonwealth service, they were forced to confront Meghan, who was smiling and frozen, as well as Harry, who was sulking. The Cambridges do not express their dissatisfaction in such a manner without giving significant grounds. Just so you know, there is nothing more aggravating than when someone gives you a fake smile and a sentimental hey, like Meghan did at the service just after the Sussexes had a major outburst. We are all aware that this is a pretty inflammatory statement. In the event that one S brother weds a woman who one was an actress of a very low and unremarkable caliber who primarily engaged in some mild pornographic activities, the second thing she did was do nothing except strut around, spend a lot of money on herself, boast that she would be better at everything, and start a lot of stories. Three, manipulated your brother into giving up his responsibility to safeguard his family while moving him away from his work, his family, and all else he had ever known until that point. Do you think anyone would feel abruptly enraged? Was she a girl who worked on yachts? Oh my goodness. I have no idea, but she certainly seems to be a character that is fraught with danger. In the case of Megan, she is a one-woman disaster, and Harry must have been filled with a great deal of self-loathing in order to allow her to proceed in this direction. What is the matter with him anyway? What I can see is only Megan despises her family and has left them behind. For many years, she was a raving fan of her father. For many years, Doria kept a quiet profile. Doria appears to be involved in this situation with Megan. And as a result, Doria has continued to be a part of the image. As a result of the arrival of Megan, Harry has severed his friendship with the Cambridge family and has even abandoned his nephews and nieces. This is due to the fact that Harry now has a wife who is despised by everyone. Which buddies did Meghan make when he was in the United Kingdom or while he was in the Republic of Ireland? It would appear that Harry has abandoned all of his previous companions. Alternately, they disregarded him, despite the fact that his wife has been impolite to the Queen. Harry does nothing about it. There are more, but just two are driving me absolutely crazy. That heartbreaking footage of M.M. cradling poor Archie in an inappropriate manner was just so disgusting. Wake up, Harry and get your life in order once and for all. Although I am aware that his adoring friends believe that his life is wonderful, he has lost respect on a worldwide scale, and he has caused significant harm to both his family and his relationship with them. It would be impossible to detail all of the losses. I don't know. Perhaps he believes that Oprah, the Cloonies, and other celebrities will be sufficient to take the place of his family. If anyone believes that Harry will be able to return to his family as if nothing has occurred, then they have not been through the pain that his family has been through. Following what Harry has done, there will be significant scars and resentment that will remain. In certain instances, the newspapers exaggerate the situation, while in other instances, they do not. Falsehoods are not always present. On the basis of MMS actions and achievements alone, it is not even necessary to read the papers because she provides all of the information that is required. I think if I were Megan as parents, then I would be so embarrassed and ashamed of her. At first, I was so excited for Harry. I had hoped and prayed he had found true love like Prince William and that the FAB4 would be doing great things together. Mental health has never been talked about publicly before they brought it to the forefront. They were the threesome before Megan. If Harry had someone of Catherine S. character and kindness, this would have been a whole different world for Harry. I'm afraid Harry is going to be so devastated again and poor Archie. He will definitely fare better if he is raised with his dad and the royal family. Then he can grow up with his cousins, aunt, uncle, grandparents, and of course his great-grandparents. It is just a tragedy that he's not with them now. Look at the wonderful children of William and Catherine. They are wonderful, happy and kind, and you can tell being raised by two very loving and caring parents. William has to be devastated at the break from Harry. He's been in the situation before, and I believe with my entire heart he and Catherine are the two major people who helped pull Harry out of his deep depression before. 
I am sure there were others involved who helped, and I am sure Prince Charles and Her Majesty S. Love and Concern were major contributors also, but I truly believe Harry needs his brother more right now than at any other time in his life. The U.S. paparazzi are ruthless, and once people do start getting out and about, more wow Harry is never going to have any kind of private life here in the U.S. In fact, it is not because Meghan is too talented to trick a prince into her trap. It's because Harry is too stupid and weak. She doesn't have friends. She has acquaintances. She uses people and discards them. She started with her father. Her first husband's connections got her the audition for Suits. Not a great runaway show by U.S. standards. I had never heard of her until she started dating Harry. Look how many people who had worked for the royal family for years quit their jobs because of her. That says a lot right there. She always was embarrassed about her father. She wanted Prince Charles, the future king of England, to walk her part way down the aisle. As a feminist, she wanted to give herself away. Please? Even the queen suggested a crime-colored dress. You would have thought she would have done anything to get in good graces with Her Majesty. But no, once Harry said what Meghan wants. Meghan gets, she was off to the races, literally. Have you heard one word of support from Serena Williams? Oprah. Or anyone? No. And you want? She made an open play for Serena's husband. Oprah, of course, went to the wedding. Who in their right mind would turn that kind of invitation down? Oprah wanted to get to meet as many of the royal family as she could. I really don't believe she will ever do a sit-down interview with Meghan. She might do something with Harry on the mental health initiative. But my personal opinion is that she will not do anything to make your majesty upset or angry. The awesome work the three were doing before Meghan was absolutely amazing. The one thing that galls me the most is the fact that they hurt the queen with their selfishness. To have a grandchild tell you that they are leaving the country is very hard to take. It is obvious now that they live in Los Angeles that privacy is not their main concern. This is the paparazzi capital of the world. They have imposed a huge amount of pressure on William and Catherine who have to pick up the void they created for royal appearances. Of course, William is put out. His brother has basically deserted him and the firm. William and Catherine are all about duty and loyalty to the country and the family. Harry and Meghan are only about themselves and money. Meghan has got her way so far. But how long will it last? When Harry goes back to Britain, I think a lot of old emotions will be stirred. Perhaps then he will see what a horrible mistake he has made. Well, that's all for today's video. Thank you very much for watching our video, and I want to know what you think about these issues. Please express your opinion in the comments below. Hope you will always be cheerful and happy. Don't forget to support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. Goodbye, and see you again in the next videos.